as our movie, Scared to Death has its last hurrah. Let me remind you once again that next week, <laughs> yes, it's our fifth annual Little John Night. And that, my friends, is going to be a ball. Yeah, right. Right now, you and I are going to have a ball, Bob, trying to get Sam and Lila dressed for PJ party. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey, you know, this is not their very uh, first debut on TV. They did a bit about, uh, well, about a year ago when they were one year old. That's right. The reason you haven't seen it before is, uh, well, they choked. <laughs> Bad actors. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> After training Rowdy, I, ass I assumed all Ridgeback were very good actors, but I was wrong. All uh, right. <laughs> yes. No, okay. Okay, another first. Uh, here is Samson and Delilah's very first acting roles when they were just puppies. Right. Hmm? Okay, Mr. Wells, I'll just complete your loan papers here. That's $2,000 for one year. Uh, right. Boy, this sure isn't like any other loan companies I've been to. Boy, getting this loan was really easy. Yeah, well, that's what's made us famous. That completes the paperwork, so if you'll just sign right here. Ah, okay. Well, I, I just can't get over how nice and friendly you people are. There. Uh, now that you've signed, can I have one of your shoes for just a few seconds? <laughs> Excuse me. I thought you said one of my shoes. <laughs> yes, I did. But just for a few seconds. Uh, oh, uh, well, sure, oh, okay. Sure. Thank you. I just, just, I just want them to, to get the scent. down, honey. <laughs> Come here, Sam. Your pants are falling off. Train them good out, Hinkley boy. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no. X-rated. Come here. Sam. Oh, it's okay. This you top covers him up. Huh? <laughs> you know that Sam because you can tell by the bottoms of his feet when you turn him up, right? That's right. Remember the <laughs> yeah. comic strip today in the paper? <laughs> a couple weeks ago. Anyway. All right, here we go. Nice Where are we? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. You're stepping on my ad libs here. <laughs> Pardon me, ma'am. What you got there, big fella? Imagine somebody tuning in now wondering what the heck's going on. <laughs> We're here and we <laughs> wonder what's going okay, on. Okay, from David Stutchlack of Parma, Bob. The David Stutchlack? Yes. A wife says to her certain ethnic husband, Hey, get up. There's a guy here with a wooden leg named Joe. The husband says, Well, what's the name of his other leg? <laughs> I don't think Joe Miller will ever die. <laughs> this is from Rick Cole of Cleveland. Man from a, whoops, wait a minute, a certain microphone falling out. Man from a certain ethnic background comes home and says to his wife, whew, am I bushed. Hard day at the office, dear, asked his wife. Yeah, the computer broke down and we all had to think. Oh, I'm just this Don't close to the sales department, psychotic. right, Aaron? <laughs> Aaron, you're watching the show at two in the morning. You know, nothing oh, better to do. That's loyalty. Well, it's two. Hey, three. this is from D. Mondock, Bob of Parma Heights. Hey, good job. As a milk, milkman says, "Are you sure?" To, the, to a lady, "Are you sure?" <laughs> a woman from a certain ethnic background. Yes, yes. Are you sure you want 54 <laughs> quarts of milk? Yes, said the woman. My doctor told me to take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Delilah. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Oh, this joke ain't a top ten. You gotta watch it, I meant, it I meant to tell you about that. <laughs> Whoa. The little habit they have, Bob. <laughs> yeah, I'll start again. <laughs> Milkman says, are you sure you want 54 quarts of milk? And the woman from a certain ethnic background said, yes, my doctor told me to take a bath in milk. I see, said the milk. Do you want it pasteurized? No, just up to my chin. <laughs> pasteurized. Yeah, it's all right. Pasteurized. OK, hey, okay. you know, D. Mondock is the one who gave me these socks. That's with, right. With the BW Don't on the ankle. Put your leg up. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, all right. And a star on this side, right? OK. I'm not, not, I'm not Russian either. Oh, anyway, moving right along here. That's the funny stuff, I hope. Anyway, this is from Little Tam Tommy. Dannery, right? Tommy, Tommy Dannery. You know yes. them. Yes, yes. Sure. Yeah, I think they're that way. Anyway, Japanese man was applying for a job yes. as a pilot. As a pilot. Yes. Why don't you do this to your Japanese? Well, I'll be the employer. Oh, okay. Uh, and what is your name, sir? Uh, my name is uh, Chow Min. And what experience do you have? I was a kamikaze pilot in war. Kamikaze? Huh? How could that be? Well, they call me a uh, chicken uh, Chow Min. Am I talking funny? Yes. Hi, hi. <laughs> okay, from Clint Thunderbolt Bob of Hinkley, a oh. certain ethnic inventor invented an electric car that will run on $2 worth of power a month. Really? The only problem is it costs $25,000 for the extension cord. $25,000! Oh. <laughs> we understood that. From Paul Shagoda of Goose Town. Did you hear about the ham actor who fell off a ship that was passing a lighthouse? Mm -hmm. What he, happened? He drowned swimming in circles. He was trying to stay in the spotlight. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. Yeah. Adios. Adios, muchachos. I guess you're right. You get out of here. Whoa, I got to watch that, Ben. Okay, Bob, from Scott Mitchell of Parma, a speaker was getting ready to give a speech at a banquet, and he says to the guy next to him, this is terrible. I have to give a speech right now, and I forgot my false teeth. The man next to him says, hey, I happen to have an extra pair. Try these. The guy goes, Oh, that's too small. <laughs> and I said to the speaker, well, try this pair. The guy goes, oh, that's way too big. I said, here, I have one more pair left. He said, try these. The guy said, hmm, they, they fit perfectly, said the speaker. Sure is lucky I've been sitting next to a dentist. The guy says, I'm not a dentist. I'm an undertaker. <laughs> oh, come on, get off that. <laughs> Oh. Oh. From D. <laughs> Fanishek of Cleveland, man talking to his friend. Mm. Guy says, my wife says, if I don't quit playing golf, she'll leave me. Friend says, well, that's too bad. Guy says, yeah, I'll miss her. How much longer must this circus <laughs> continue? Yeah, I'll miss her. Yes. Yeah, I'll miss her. Yeah, I'll miss her. Yeah, I guess I said it right. <laughs> Nobody's <laughs> laughing around. <laughs> It's one of those nights, Bob. We're going to miss you until next week, too, That's by the way. That's true. So, until next week, little John Knight, remember... Right.